All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, you guys know my name, Mr. Smartwatch. We're joined here with Barry Johnson, Engineer Reacts. What's up, man? Hey, man, doing well, doing well. How about you? Great, man, great. Great to have you on. So I wanted to do this video and talk to you guys about our thoughts on the upcoming Pixel Watch how it's been leaked at a restaurant and mm -hmm. also talk to you guys about uh our thoughts on if apple were to ever make a round watch um, we know that that's something that a lot of apple fans are interested in um, but is apple actual actually capable of doing it is the question um so we'll be talking about that uh so Barry, uh, what are your thoughts on the Pixel Watch? Um, have you seen the design and everything? It's been like yeah, yeah. On so Twitter. yeah, so I've I've seen the design. So if that is the design, I have no problem with the design. I know that it might not be everybody's thing. I, I do like a, a circle design. I do like the kind of Movado type look, and I yeah. understand the criticisms. Like ah, eh, you know, I'd want like almost a little more ruggedness or something like that. But I'm cool with the design portion. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I'm i with you on that one. Uh, I definitely think that um, it looks a lot like a rounded Apple Watch, especially with the crown and everything. It looks like yeah. they they just took the Apple Watch crown and stuck it on there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely think that's cool. Um, I kind of would like to see something like, um, you know, the Samsung Watch that's just the round thing and yeah, you know, no yeah. buttons. Correct. I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but w what are your thoughts overall and uh, what are your expectations for this watch? So, uh, you know, this might shock you. I have very low expectations, but that's just because yeah. I've been using a galaxy watch now. So I come from the perspective of that's a little bit different. I'm really into watches, but the Apple watch, the Samsung watch and possibly the Google watch requires charging more than I would want. Mm -hmm. So that's been my only thing to really just like, like I love, I, man, smartwatches, if I don't have to pull my phone out of my pocket or bag or whatever, when I'm at a client, it's invaluable, but it's like, Dude, yeah, I do it one day, then the next day I'm at a client and then by 10 a.m. I'm having to nurse the notifications because I want to make it through the rest of the day. And get right. two days of battery life, and that's that's the only issue that I have. Otherwise, yeah. I'm I'm you yeah. just don't know the level of excitement I am to have a third player. Now we have Google, now we have Apple, now we have Samsung that is going to enter this realm, and or I should say Google that's going to enter this realm and compete and make it better for us. But just battery life is what I'm looking for. Yes, yes, absolutely agree, and I'm actually very hyped that um you know after years of hearing that this is going to be a thing it's actually uh, becoming becoming a thing so i'm really excited to see how that um is going to play out and um as far as like people buying it do you think it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to want um how, how do you see that going yeah, so I think that's going to be the challenge for Google. I think um, marketing a phone is a little different than marketing a watch, you know, because first of all, you have to get people to the phone. Right. Because, they're, you know what I'm saying? You have to get people yeah. to the phone. If someone has a Samsung, even if it's compatible, it's like, well, I can just get the Samsung watch or I can get some other competitor. So that's going to be the the challenge. I'm not sure that people are going to buy it. I think people that are invested in the Pixel will, but I don't know if people that are, you know, not invested in they're, they're just typical Android, I don't think they're going to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of see it like a thing, you know, it's going to be like everything, you know, new. So everybody's going to want it. Everybody's going to think it's cool. So, they'll have it. And then once things die down and, you know, it just becomes a normal thing, it's just going to fade mm -hmm. away. Um, like everything, I think, but, um, 
you know, I, I honestly would like to see Apple doing something like this. I feel like, the, you know, um, you know, I'm an Apple fan and yeah, you yeah. know that um, I, I, I see a lot of people asking for a design change um, in the Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I personally think it's fine. I mean, I have the SE and I, I love it. I know that there's a slight design change uh, with the Series 7, and they're talking about maybe even more coming on the Series 8. Um, what are your thoughts on Apple making a round watch, and how can yeah, they compete so with others? I, I think I think um, I think they need a round watch, definitely. However, I think sometimes when you you step, you have to kind of take a step back when you're uh, uh, someone that supports a brand, and I'm not saying like supports a band, like you're you're a fanboy. You have to kind of look at it from their perspective and not always from the consumer perspective. Yeah. So they know they can print money right now, right? Without right. changing anything, right? Drastically, if they make a round, they need to go to the R and D team and say, "All right, how much is it going to cost for you to make this round phone or round watch?" And then make it to where it's just as reliable uh, as this current one. And they're going to give them a figure, right? And when can you release it, you know? So I think yeah. they're like, you know, we don't have to do that right now with, you know, them just changing a chip out or two. You know, it's a lot more reduced costs. So I think that's kind of where Apple is coming from. Yeah. Um, yeah because, I, like, I, I'm not going to – we'll keep it on watch, but – there's other things right now that Apple has that they could change, but they always take the slow route, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely agree. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of Android companies have, um, you know, again, I don't want to change mm -hmm. the subject here, but like um, they have a lot of companies have the foldables and Correct. Apple has still not entered yeah, yeah. that realm. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I, I've heard a lot of things with that. Um, when when do you think Apple could actually come and make a design change in? Um, oh, I see what you're saying. So when do you think they could? So yeah. I think they could do it this year, but I don't think they are going to do it this year. I think it's probably right. going to be next year. Um, mm -hmm. Just you know, one last go around with this design, and then you'll see leak after leak after leak. Um, yeah. that's genuine. Yeah. When they when they do it, but I I think they have the capability of doing it right now. They just won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's true. That is true. Um, is there you know any other thoughts that you would like to? Um, oh, put on in? the on the um. So one thing. So on. So tell me how <clears> you <throat> Taylor. How do you charge your your Apple Watch? Do you use how do you do it right now? Like, what is your method of choice? What, or just tell me the methods that you've used. I just use the, the regular charger okay. for it. Yeah. So to me, like, that's one thing that I would like a non-proprietary charging, okay. you know, just stick it on like a wireless charge. You know what I'm saying? I want it yeah. to make it as easy as possible for me to charge this thing where I'm not yeah. looking for a certain dongle. I'm not looking for a certain pad or what have you. So right. that's, that's another right. thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing too for me is the way I use my Galaxy Watch. I just really have two notifications going on. I mm -hmm. just want my Teams because it's for work. It's just my work phone hit me with Teams and notification. Yeah. I would like for them to bring as many of the Google Assistant features to the actual Definitely. watch. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some of the yeah. stuff that I would see, like even if I just keyed in a number like to Microsoft or something like that, I could mm -hmm. see the, you know, whole time. So, you know, for, you, yeah. stuff like that, like those type of things, like maybe live dictation, you know, right there on the watch. So that's kind of some of the stuff I would like to see. Don't, I don't mm -hmm. expect to see it. I expect to right. see a first gen pixel watch. Yeah. 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 I, I think, um, so what you're saying is like, you know, if you pair it to, a certain kind of device then you know have that mm -hmm. on there correct that, yeah that would be cool that would be mm -hmm. cool um yeah. so it, it's just a matter of time 
I think, um, I, again, I think I would love to see a round Apple Watch, and I cannot wait to see how, mm-hmm. um, you know, Apple competes with Google and all yeah, these yeah. other companies. Um, and I, I, I personally want to see how um, Pixel themselves do it, um, you know, compete with the others out there. But I definitely think that it, it's going to be um, one of those top watches out there. Um, mm-hmm. Still, I don't think any of the other ones are going to go, um, you know, down in, in Me any either. way. I don't think, yeah, I don't think so either. I think it's too, too soon, you know. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. I think as they gain market share, that's when the other companies are going to have to start to right. gain phone market share. I think that's when they're going to say, well, wait a second. Now right. people are buying these because they're like, hey, I, I should be, I should, if I have to have a Google phone, I've got a Google watch. So Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, you know, I, I kind of wish, and I know that like there's ways um, that you can connect, like let's say your Apple watch to an Android, um, but still lose some features. I kind of wish that, um, yeah, I know what you're saying. I know you're saying. I know you're saying. Um, so are you kind of hoping that the reverse is true? Like you can hook it up yeah. to your Apple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can so, always get a Pixel, man. No one's going to be mad at you, man. Man, man <laughs> you know, it's the money talking, you know? Uh, but, that's hey. funny. Yeah, but, so, yeah, I like I said, I, I hope, like I really hope that uh, that Apple makes changes. I hope that uh, Google has a nice but but like i said i i'm very excited it might not seem like it i just my big thing is i want the battery life on all yes. of the brands to be better no i hear you like ya. if if you have this type of connectivity i'm cool with four or five days of you know not go I, ahead I, i'm gonna i'm gonna do a, a bit of a sneak peek um okay w- uh for the watch that i'm reviewing the watch that I'm reviewing right now is $34, but the battery life is insane. The battery life is, as comes on, on the box, seven-day battery life. Yeah, that's No beautiful. joke. Yeah. See, that's, no joke. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind Dude, of battery life I want, you know? How? Explain to me how a $34 watch could have seven days of battery life using most of the features that come on the watch but a 300 four dollar that's what i'm saying i like i said and that's and that's it gets back to it gets back to um like you know i'm a pixel guy right 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 and i have not had many issues with the fingerprint sensor right Right, Taylor, the fingerprint sensor, I will rate it just because I, I knock it down because everybody else had an issue. Mm-hmm. Today, you should not have a fingerprint sensor that's not a 10 out of 10. That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. And then I have to rate it realistically. You have side fingerprint sensors on some budget phones. Yep. And that can, um, and we just now got this Qualcomm uh, ultrasonic. Uh, so Samsung does an ultrasonic and Qualcomm does one where the landing pad is like, you could put like two or three thumbs in, you know, that's how big it is of an area. Right. right. Those to me are now 10 out of 10. So then you have to go back to ultras. So you start to go down on the list. Yep. But if I don't say anything, if I don't tell Google like, hey, the animation from the animation to, to the haptic um, feedback, all of that is off. Your your job as a company when you are making these animations and you make smooth animations all over the place, but mm-hmm. on your fingerprint sensor you you have it messed up where someone has to hold down, then there's a slow animation plus a weird time where you gave the haptic feedback. You have to be upfront with these companies. You have to hold them accountable yeah. and say, "Hey, I'm yeah. I support you guys, but at the same time I can point out things that are." And I think that's what sometimes we miss as reviewers. I think yeah. We yeah. in the tech community are so busy saying this product won, this product beat this, instead of saying, "Well, this product still has some issues." Let me go back to the company and say, "Hey, what is going on here? This has to yeah. change." Yeah, you know, exactly. like I'm telling you, like I'm gonna go off on Google if if they have the same generation. Oh, yeah. You know, no, I'm like, no, this listen. this can't because the OnePlus Ten I- has a optical scanner and it's yeah. it's 
in some so like in all perfect conditions, it's I still rate it the same as my S22, which is using the ultrasonic. Right. Only because I know there's I could probably put something on the screen that the ultrasonic would still work. Yeah. But it works better than my ultrasonic does. And it's an optical. Wow. So yeah, definitely, man. There's uh, there's things out there that like need to be changed and need to be worked on, um, and I'm hoping that like <clears throat> I'm hoping that the uh, these companies get better at make at testing these products before they can they mm-hmm. come out. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't want to get off topic here, but like, and I don't know how you feel about Samsung stuff. But, like, when these foldables came out, um, when the Samsung Folds came out and they started having these issues, I started seeing it as, like, you know, a, a lot of people are going to get mad and walk away from that. You know, so I, I feel like these companies... Um, they need to be, do a better job. Like, I, like I'm yeah. not sure if you're t- which yeah. part you're talking about, but I know Samsung has another issue right now. Their foldables are breaking. The screens are yes. breaking. Yeah. So yeah. So and that's something you do up front. They 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 have aging tests where they actually have a robot that's just doing folds over and over again. So it simulates years of use. I've seen. And it's like, that. did you not do awesome. this? It's like, why? Like, why are you having this issue? Right. So, right. Yeah. So I, I I definitely think that um, you know, test out the product, make sure it works well, and then, you know, um, go ahead and bring it out to the public. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if, to me, like, yeah, okay, we get bummed if uh, there's a delay. But honestly, maybe these delays are uh, for a reason. And, you know. Yeah, but that's where we it. have to do our due diligence as tech reviewers. Because a lot of times you'll have tech reviewers, you know, championing like, oh, my God, there's a delay. You know, oh, yeah. You know, and it's yeah. like if something is not, if it's half-baked, it needs to stay. You know, for sure. So for sure. I totally agree, man. Well, thank you for coming on. Hey, man, man this was good. Really appreciate it. And um, guys, make sure you guys check out Barry. Uh, links are all in the description, as well as the article um, where we discuss the uh, Apple. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm used to saying Apple Watch, but the Google Watch um, being leaked. That article is down in the description so make sure you guys check it out um and we hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to our channels and we'll see you guys in the next one